So I've attached my filled cartridge and I attached my tubing to that. I filled my tubing and I filled my cannula. So this pump is ready to go. Now, I do not see any air bubbles in this tubing. At all. But actually, you know what? I'm wrong. There is a little bit of an air bubble right here at the end. You can't really see that. But yeah, I see a tiny bit of air here. So this is perfect. I'm going to show an example of how I would get that air out. So I'm going to go back to my pump screen. One, two, three. I'm going to go back to load. Now, as you can see, you've, ar you've already changed your cartridge and you've already filled your tubing, but I'm going to push the button to fill the cannula again. So that's going to prime the pump. I'm going to hit, it's telling 0.7 units and I'm going to tell it to prime a whole unit. So I'm going to tap right there and change that to other amount. And I'm gonna make it one unit. One, and then press the check sign. And then I'm gonna push the start button to fill the cannula. So now the cannula, the insulin's coming out and that air bubble's not there anymore. I'm going back through my tubing and there's no more air. So anytime you see air, just go back to load, fill cannula, not fill tubing, but fill cannula. So that way you can prime that tubing again and get the air out. So after I finish that, I'm just hitting my check mark and reinserting the pump. 